What's going on YouTube? Uh, this video is, um, I would like to reference the Martin Logan Depth Eye. If you have a Martin Logan de Depth Eye or a descent and the amplifier just all of a sudden stops working or whenever you turn it to the on position and it starts to hum, you pretty much have a blown, um, you have a blown amplifier. Um, there actually is a solution to this where you could um, remedy the situation for maybe under, mm, about under $300. Uh, give me a quick second, sorry guys. Uh, need to move this amplifier. Originally what I did was I hooked up a DA um, to, uh, to the um, speaker. But I kinda wanna show you some things in greater detail. So, um, if you've had a depth eye, and um, what happens is you turn it on into the, uh, you know, the auto. What, what happened with me was the magenta light in the, when it was in the auto, um, when it was in automatic mode. Then whenever you would turn it on, it would start humming. You turn it to standby, the magenta light would come on. So you would never, the only time you would get a green light is if you turn it to on, but you were getting no signal. So not the end of the world. So what I did was I disabled the uh amplifier because when i called martin logan they don't make the amplifier anymore as a matter of fact they never made it they never made the amplifier for this device it was sub it was uh subbed out to somebody else but not the end of the world so uh this is a class d monoblock amplifier which i basically bypassed the speaker and i t went from active to passive okay so the beauty of the situation is you still have your bias, your level, your whole nine yards. Alexa, play. So the beauty of it is you can still get it to work. And it actually sounds pretty amazing. So this device here, I think I paid $130 for. It's 300 watts a channel. It's a uh, class D amplifier. And it sounds fantastic. So, I mean, it knocks, it has the same kind of bias. Uh, on your amplifier, you can actually tell the amplifier, because I have it running with a CLX, you basically have to turn the speaker into 180 hertz, I'm sorry, 180, um, 180 degrees out of phase, and uh, sounds fantastic. And I mean, this thing knocks like there's no tomorrow. This is really all you're gonna need. This is made by a knob sound, a G2 Pro. It's uh, 300 watts a channel, and this more than remedies your problem. And you just run it in mono. You run it into mono, it sounds fantastic. So this is my setup that I did. I only have it run into one channel, bypassed it. I have that running into um, mono from, from, the, from the receiver, the subwoofer to this, mono, and it sounds fantastic. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Like, comment, subscribe below.